In part one of the Creator tutorial, we created a basic playlist for Easy FM. Now let's go back and look a little more closely at some of the basics and also add some tweaks that will improve our station's sound. Under Options Separation Rules, we already mentioned the various separations on the left, but there are additional ways that you can determine separation by the further controls on the right. Minimum separation can be used to prevent too many similar tracks from playing close together without the need to create separate categories. For example, gender set to one will prevent two male or two female tracks being selected back to back. Rating priority works by passing over a track a specific number of times in each category by using ratings. Both of these functions rely on additional information being stored in each track by entering that information in track properties. The application of these rules can also be varied by category in the category properties. A category can also be allocated as priority where tracks will have their tracks selected first for the entire creation period. In addition, each individual track or group of tracks can have specific schedule restrictions applied in track properties. These settings should be used sparingly one or more high or maximum values may severely reduce the number of tracks available for selection and cause uneven track selection or even selection errors. You will also want to change the songs in each category from time to time as you add new tracks to the playlist. The songs that we scanned and tagged in part one have yet to be entered into a category, so let's do that now. We'll start with our A category and add these new songs. From Categories, select Country A and then click on Track List. Just right click anywhere in the list and select Add Files to Category. Find the folder where our new tracks are filed, select them and click Open. Our new songs now reside in the A category. We also want to remove some songs and shift them to the B category. Select those songs and click on the minus sign on the right. Then double click on No Category, select those songs Select the B category and click the plus sign. Those songs will now appear in the B category. No files have physically moved, so our current schedule will continue to play until we create a new schedule. There's another way to control the number of times a song appears in the schedule called Packets. We've downloaded a number of songs from Taylor Swift's album Red and the title track we've put in the A category. We want to play the other tracks, but don't want them to appear every few hours. So we double click on our B category and select Add Packet. Click on New Packet and give it a name, then Add Files and select the remaining new Taylor Swift tracks to that packet. Click OK and the packet now appears under the B category. Each time Creator reaches that packet, it will select one track from the selection and not address that packet again until it next comes around, at which time it will select the next track and so on. When we first scanned the files, we added an intro duration, which we used to run our station IDs over the song ramp. At this point, our radio station has a variety of music and some station IDs, but no announcers. We're going to change that with the introduction of song intros and outros for each of the songs in our A category. We first created a folder called A Intros, then we go into Creator. Creator Spot Group will also call A Intros and add this folder to it. We then identify those as Song Intro and tick the box with Intro Time Songs Only, which means if we add a new song to the A category, but don't get around to creating an intro duration for the song ramp, even if we record an intro, it won't play. Then we do the same for outros. Before we start recording those intros and outros, we have to set up the recording options by going to option HTML slash VT and under VT file name format, set the format to whatever you're going to use. You could leave it at the default WAV format, but in our case, we're going to change it to MP3. Assign a voice track folder and then under the voice track recording application, choose the recorder. We'll leave it as VT recorder you can also use a third-party application. Go to the Tools tab and click on the Intro Outro File tool. Select Country A in the category and A Intros in the Spot Group. This will bring up a list of the files that need intros to be recorded. There are then three further options. Songs or Artists, 
songs only or artists only. This allows you to choose between having an intro that mentions both the artist and the song title or just the artist. To record you have to select either songs only or artists only. Having decided which you're going to record, the next thing is to select a track and click on record, which will open the recording application. You first have to choose the options relevant to your system and the shortcut key you will use, then whether you want to listen to the track for which you're recording the intro or outro, or just leave it to automatic, which will use the timing based on the preset intro and outro times set on songs in the track tool. Click on Start Recording and record the voice intro, and then click Stop Recording. You can preview what you've recorded before clicking on Save. Do that for each song in turn, then do the same for outros. Now we'll redo our two main rotations that air between 6am and 6pm to insert either an intro or outro every time we play a Country A track like this. Then run a new schedule and you'll see how those songs now have an artist intro or outro. One other thing, once you've run the schedule, you can always edit anything in it by either moving elements around or replacing one song with another in the playlist editor. Tracks of any type can be added by clicking on the insert button and entering the required parameters in the checkboxes. Once all your changes have been made, click save.